to, in essence, just give Blue Cross the, uh, the ability to examine our practices electronically. And they give us money for it, so it was not a, a bad deal in that respect. And at the same time, uh, Care Tracker was uh, in the beginning of the development of the electronic health records. So one thing led to another, and we were able to um, uh, participate in the program. Um, the, uh, the Quality Counts program basically is 10 specific measures, just like the ones I mentioned, mammograms, uh, pap smears, uh, chlamydia cultures for young women, and we need to report them uh, on a yearly basis and show a level of improvement after three years in order to qualify for the final uh, big payment at the end, hopefully. Uh, the work that we've done uh, with Care Tracker uh, as a better side has been we built the initial templates. We developed uh, with them the bridges to women and infants to some of the uh, radiology places and others. Um, we created some of these quality reports uh, that I'm going to show you one, and um, please don't laugh if you see a lot of missing information on the report, but that's what the reports are supposed to be looking for. An order of reconciliation, to be able to match the order when you order a test and when the result comes back, which is very, very important um, for uh, malpractice insurance. At Women and Infants, we get a credit uh, in our malpractice premiums to, in order to, uh, if we have this kind of a system that reconciles orders with results. So um, what did we do? We were gradual, um, and we were able to convince Blue Cross that this was the best way to do it, uh, and they didn't mind. So um, what we did is we started April 1st. We did first all new GYN Blue Cross patients only. Um, and because there was no paper for them to begin with, the process of integrating them into the practice was easy and simple and seamless. Then after four months, uh, we incorporated all GY, all, new, all new GYN patients. Again, people that don't have any paper and you know, getting people familiar with the software. In January 1st is when we went all out and started doing all annuals. And by February, we were doing all gynecological patients, which in an OBGYN practice is the overwhelming majority uh, of your patients. March uh, 1st, we started doing all new obstetrical patients, and we're going to be moving uh, the obstetrical patients through the nine months of the pregnancy. Uh, and those that were started on paper, we're just going to leave them on paper until they're done, and then just uh, start them electronically. Uh, and we scanned all the chart. Uh, it's the decision that we made to just basically scan all the chart as the patient comes in. So if there's any patient that disappears for three or four years, storage, chart is gone. That way we haven't scanned information that we don't need. Uh, so it, it's going to help save us in time and effort. So what, was, what has been our um, results? It's, um, uh, the January was the, potentially the, the hardest month for us because it was the first month that we were just incorporating patients with paper charts, patients that are new, patients that were old. Uh, and we had a 9% reduction in the number of visits. Um, that we uh, experienced. We did change uh, some of the time lengths of the visits by five uh, to 10 minutes, depending on the visit. Um, and we kind of limited the, um, the number of double book appointments that we usually uh, had before. The, the interesting thing, and I don't know how this happened, is that because we were so anal about the schedules, what we actually ended up doing is that we ended up having less no-shows don't know how that happened, <laughs> but it did happen, and, and it also uh, eliminated some of the um, uh, reduction in productivity. Uh, we eliminated the lab track system in January, which was the system that we get from Women and Infants Hospital to, to uh, collate the orders with the labs, and we were able to do it successfully and get the credit. Uh, and this is where, you know, um, I never knew, never, never knew. I've been managing this group from the beginning, and I never knew that we spend close to $40,000 a year in new patient charts. The files, the liners, the papers, the clips, $40,000. Uh, and how do we know that? Because we get it from a single vendor, and that vendor always sends us a big basket at the end of the, you know, for Christmas, you know, it's the best basket that we get. Um, because the margin for that stuff has to be like, you know, 90%, easily, easily. Um, we also had a 50% reduction in filing clerks. We, we used to have two filing clerks per site. We have three full-time sites, and now we have only one uh, per site. Um, and we haven't been printing any labs for about a year. Since we 
since we started the, using the electronic medical record, we actually began with the lab interface, so we could get familiar with it, uh, and uh, people had to actually check their labs um, on the live without printing them, which made it very, very easy.